up y'all, Nick Edson here, representing Nick Edson Basketball. And what I'm gonna show you today is how to windmill dunk. I started windmilling maybe about a year ago, and I never thought I would be able to do it until I just started trying it, and I was successful. All right, so I'm gonna go over a couple of things, and I'm gonna start from square one. So the first thing you gotta think about when you're windmill dunking is that it is possible, even though you might not think it. So just try, okay? Just try, that's step one. Step number two, think about the technicalities and the technique with it. So I'm gonna link a video to the upper right of the screen right here. And in that video, I break down a two foot jump technique in which hand you should use based on what plant style you use. So you use a left right plant, left right plant, or use a right left plant, okay? Now, I described it in that video, but I'll break it down real quick right here. If you use a left right plant, when you jump, your body's naturally gonna turn this way. So my body's now actually going to turn this way because I use a left right plant when I jump. So because of that, if I then use a right hand for my windmill, I'm going to end up on the side of the basket. Right hand, I'm going to end up on the side of the basket. If I did a left right plant and I did my left hand, I would end up in the center of the basket. Okay? Now obviously, the center of the basket is easier to dunk than the side of the basket because if it's a breakaway rim, the center has the most give, while the side has less give. So in the perfect world, you want to dunk in the center of the rim, which would mean you would use the hand that your plant led with. So left, right, I would want to use the left hand. Right, left, I would want to use a right hand. Now if you do it differently than that, if you do left, right, and use a right hand, you could consider that a goofy style, similar to snowboarding. That would be considered goofy, because it would be kind of doing it opposite and it'll be a little harder but that being said maybe you just jump higher off a of left right and you're a righty and you don't want to change it like me my most of my windmills are off my normal left right plant and I'm a righty so they're on the side of the rim it's almost like it's almost like perpendicular to the rim although I have done right left and then a right hand finish so that's something to think about so that's step one is the planting the planting style in your hands. Third thing you gotta think about is when you plant, you need everything going up. Anytime you do a two foot jump, you want everything going upwards, okay? The minute your feet are pretty much off the ground is when you start rotating the other way, okay? Because it's a windmill. The windmill is up, down, and around, okay? So don't try to start jumping, don't try to start windmilling before you leave the ground. Make everything going up, and the minute your feet are essentially off the ground is when you're gonna start the windmill, okay? Um, another thing to think about is you want everything high because then when you start windmilling, you're gonna push the ball down to bring it around. When you push the ball down, your body's gonna go up because it's just opposite forces. So the ball's here. When I push it down, my body's gonna naturally go up and make me get higher. So you really gotta get up, get the ball up. Right when you start leaving the ground, that's when you start bringing it around. And you wanna do it as powerfully and as violently as you can. The windmill is an awesome move because it's so violent. You have all your momentum going up and then you all, all your momentum wrapping the opposite way, okay? So that is the, first, is the third step. Fourth step is your leg kick, all right? So on a left right plant, I'm gonna jump up, I'm gonna start bringing it around, and my, my back leg, my opposite leg of my arm that I'm using is naturally gonna flare out, okay? It's naturally gonna go opposite to my arm. If it was this way, it would, be, it would be the opposite, okay? So your leg is naturally gonna flare out, or if it doesn't, then try to think about why it's not and try to force it to flare out, but it's gonna flare out. As it flares out, you really want to kick it forward. And you're going to use your torso to stretch your whole body out. And then as you go up, it's going to kick forward. Last thing to think about is your hand placement on the ball. So as you jump up, your hands are, the ball is probably in two hands. When you bring it around, you want to cup it, right? 
You want to cup it because it's the easiest way to quickly move the ball. Use your wrist and your hands to get better grip on the ball. Then as you go up, you're obviously going to try to get it over the rim. So at this point, you want to get it as high as you can. So you're not going to be, you don't want to be cupping it at this point. You want to be using gravity to let it go up and let you push it through the rim as easiest as possible, getting it up on your fingertips, pushing it through, and ripping the rim down. Okay, so it's something to think about because you might be talking about centimeters here for you to be able to win those. So you want every piece of that you can. So it's cuff and then it's fingertips. And then it's ripping the rim down. All right, so just to review, first of all, you can windmill, you just have to try it, okay? If you don't think you can, that's your first step. Believe that you can. Second, second step, and I have the link to the video, think about your plant style. So you're left-righty, and then are, what hand do you use? Are you right-lefty, and then what hand do you use? Okay, and realize which one's easier, but then also realize which one's best for you. And realize that a goofy style could still work better than a traditional style. Third thing, think about getting the ball up and getting everything going up until you leave the ground and then you start rocking it, okay? But before you leave the ground, everything is going up. Third thing, think of, or fourth thing, think about your legs and your torso, all right? So it's the scissor kick action. So the ball is up and then you're scissor kicking. You're using your body, your legs to rotate everything as violently as possible. It's not just your arms, it's your entire body that's scissor kicking, okay? And then last thing, obviously, is your hand. So you want to cuff low, and you want to fingertip high. All right, cuff low, fingertip high. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment box down below. I hope I described this in such a way that it's useful for you. Let me know what you think. Nick Gatsby Basketball, signing out. Peace.